you know, in some sense. The problem with this app is that it's all about sumo. Uh, so I'd like to t ask uh, Jim Wright to come up. Um, he's, uh, in, he's an application services architect at Sun and a, and a hobbyist. Um, you know how there's, there's robot wars in the US. There's the Japanese version is essentially robot sumo. Robot sumo wars. Robot sumo wars. So, so tell us a little bit more about, uh, about what these different pieces all do. Well, let me start out with sumo is really uh, a sport that goes after speed and agility and the really intense kind of jockeying for position in the beginning. Real time is important, quick is important, paying attention is important. Then it's followed by power, pushing, trying to push the opponent out of the ring. Before I talk more about sumo, though, I wanted to show you something I had on my cell phone. We were talking end-to-end -end Java, and it's kind of interesting here. We wrote a little mid-p uh, midlet. I go down and select my Java applications, and I've got an application here that's called the Javanator. We have two parameters we can look for. One of the parameters has to do with speed, one has to do with agility, and this maps on to that intense period of real-time jockeying in the beginning of a match. Sort of like the Dungeons and Dragons character configuration. Very much through. like that. And in this case, we're going to trade off out of 100, 80 speed, 20 agility. Submit this, we're done. Before I go any farther, I think I should introduce you to my two assistants. And we, let me just go over here and take a look at these guys, and then we can talk a little bit about them. First, in the left-hand corner, we have in a transparent case a robot that's fully autonomous. This is interesting. He runs real-time Java, uh, native Java processing done native opcodes. Uh, he's got a lot of electronics in him, you can tell. And this robot, I think we'll call the Javanator. Right, and so he's got he's, he's got these these like sonar sensors all around him. You bet. He's got uh, he's got like a little eye down below that's that's looking at the mat. Yes. Uh, that he's that he's sensing in real time. So you can tell where he is. Right, and then he's got the camera on top. A camera on top, so you can get a real time video feed over 802.11, so that we can get a robot eye view of the match. And in this corner over here, we have a red robot. It says Java One on the front. And this one's going to be radio controlled. Let me present you with a radio control transmitter. All right. So since you're controlling him, we're going to call him. Gee, I had one of these when I was a teeny bopper and doing airplanes. And it's so much fun. It is so much fun. But this one is actually going, being, being picked up by? Directly by this robot, which we'll call the James Nader. All right. Now, what's he actually running inside? He's got inside a similar kind of processor, but just all he's doing is just modulating the, just bringing down the RC commands, controlling the motors, doing very low level right, stuff. Right, so, so he's doing, doing, he's just, just, just mapping the RC controller to, 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 to motor actions. You bet. So you're in control, you're the eyes and ears of, the, of your James Nader. The Javanator has his sonar, he echolocates his prey, who's going to be you, you're going to be the prey. Prey, thank you. And so we've been able to provision end to end. We can provide these video game-like character characteristics. We were able to down, uh, provision up through our J2W server, full Sun One environment, iPlanet, and then download down into the Javanator to give it the characteristics it's going to have for the match. With that, we now have creator versus creation. And uh, let's let the match begin. Javanator versus James Nader. Oh, I think he sees you. Yeah, he went after you. He's got you again. Uh -oh. He's going to get you. Okay. Uh oh, oh, no, no. Oh. <laughs> That was one bout. I think we ought to ask for a rematch. We need to give a second chance for the J James Nader to beat the Javanator or the Javanator to beat the James Nader. So let's go. Go, Javanator. Oh, he spotted you. He's after you. Oh, he's got you again. Now it's a pushing match. A true sumo's test of strength. Oh, almost. He's chasing you. He's going to get you. Oh, he's got you from behind. You're a goner. No. Head to head they go. Oh, it's push, oh, push, push, push. And now I can't turn push, because if I push. turn, you've got me. Push. 
Indian uh, man. Javinator wins a match. So one of the things you have to understand is that these guys have been, been, been crippled. Uh, the, the autonomous guy has been, been crippled um, you know, because of the, 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 the whole game trade-off. If you try to play this guy with, with no crippling, it's, it's, it's actually really boring. <laughs> because you die really quickly. Well, congratulations. You at least matched the Jovenator. All right. Well, thanks a lot.